Bill Davison started playing for pay in the 1920s with a little group he organized in his hometown called the Ohio Lucky Seven. Like most of the horn players in those days, he used a mute. And then he met and heard Bix Beiderbeck. He threw away the mute. And the jazz trumpet hasn't been the same since. <laughs> I play straight in, and if they want to come along with me, good, and if they don't, that's their problem. And I, I don't feel that I'm that good and all that, <clears throat> but I love to play. It isn't the money I play for. It, I play because I love to play. If it weren't f uh, true, why at 76 years old am I still playing? It was that straight ahead style that got Wild Bill jobs in Chicago at the speakeasies and saloons of Al Capone. But it was in New York with jazz great Eddie Condon that he perhaps did his most memorable work. Many times in 12 and a half years that I worked there, that I'd go to work sometimes feeling just terrible. You know, sick. I didn't want to play. I didn't feel like playing. I'd get up on the stand and the guy would give two beats and away we go, and two minutes later I forgot I was sick. It was just that exciting, you know. And I did that all those years. Who were you with? Then I all drank everybody in the club. They are, most of them are all dead now. I told them. I remember about the vitamin thing. <laughs> I haven't taken one since. Bill is never too far from a cigarette or a glass of whiskey. He once gave up booze upon a doctor's advice, and then he found another doctor. Now he never seems to slow down. He regularly tours Europe, playing Denmark, England, France, Germany. But he's also playing more in this country now that the rock and roll domination is eased. And when the kids hear it today, when I've played audiences of kids that only have been rock oriented, and we play, they, they get up and scream and yell. They said, my God, where's that music been? Because it's not on TV, it's not on radio. Ten years from now, Bill Davison may be educating another group of teenagers in the finer points of jazz. He has no intention of retiring, not as long as the chops hold up. This is something from your heart, and if you can express it, then I say, go, baby, you know, do it. And that's what happens when this man picks up that horn and starts to blow. He does it. With photographer Judd Williams, Dave Nimmer, WCCO Television News, in the Twin Cities.